What's that smell? That smells good. I think it's you. What's up everybody, I'm Rupert. I'm Charlie. And we're the Avery Twins. And welcome back to another episode. And today we're making... Chicken Parmesan! Is it American? Is it Italian? Is it American Italian? All we know is that it's my favorite dish in the whole of the wild of the world. It's breaded chicken tomato sauce. It's one of the dishes that you should 100% definitely know in your arsenal of cooking. So come with us in this journey and let us show you how to make chicken Parmesan. Shall we get into it? Is that good? Well, you weren't listening. No. Well, what were you doing? Pretty good. Let's just get going. Cool. Cool. One. Step one is we're gonna make our tomato sauce. So we're gonna get the sauce going. We're gonna use a bulb of garlic, we're gonna put it on our board, place our hand on top, and just roll and crush. That releases all get of our um, cloves, and I reckon like six cloves is good. And you wanna take the skin off? We just wanna skim them, but I don't wanna mash them, you know, I wanna keep them whole because I want like the nice little slices of garlic appearing into the sauce. Have you ever done the trick where you put it into a shaker and it all comes out? No, but do you wanna try it? Let's try it. Well, we could just use that condom thing where we saw last time. I f made that thing, man. <laughs> oh, it just looks like such a bowling. How come any three cloves just Yeah, she put in a whole bowl with. Magic is about to happen right now. Oh. Shake away, young man. Let's have a look. Oh! Well, that one didn't peel, that one didn't work, but these ones peeled. All right, fine. I did not know that that was going to work no. at all. Look. So, if you're going to be like, uh, we want to chop our garlic really, really thin. So, if you've got the time, watch the good fellas. He does it with a razor blade. I suggest doing the same. So, it just kind of melts away in the sauce. So, just use a knife. Go ultra thin. See, as thin as you can go. And we're going to do all of those garlic cloves. So, stick. can you see how thin I'm going? Do you want a razor blade? Should we do the razor blade? No, I don't want a razor blade. I'll use a razor blade. We don't even have a razor blade. I've got the razor blade right here. Charlie, come on, man. That's being We want the thin garlic, man. Oh, yeah, it works. That's what I learned in prison. You've never been to prison. You don't know me. You don't know me. All right, now that that's done. Power of TV. Right, so <laughs> the power of TV. You want to grab yourself a saucepan or like a little mini frying pan, whatever you have available. I'm going to put that on a high heat. And then what we're going to do is we're going to use some olive oil and we're going to put in like, yeah, three or four tablespoons. They want quite a fair amount. And then, hey, don't, don't, please stop. If, please, we're going to saute this. And then I've got some nice fresh thyme leaves. So if you want to have a go at picking that. And then I've also got a teaspoon of fresh um, oregano or oregano, however, you, which side of the world you're at. Oregano, is that what you said? <laughs> oregano? oregano? Oh my God, he's got the oregano. And when this garlic cooks, it's just going to melt away and it's going to be delish. The same with our nice... Do you have any oregano, brah? What's going on now? Oh, got upset that we were saying oregano. <laughs> I think that's loud. It's asking for the garlic, it really wants it. So hurry the up. Shut up! You're getting oil everywhere! Now that we've picked our oregano and our garlic, it's, we'll mix it all together because it's all going in together and now we're going to place it into our saucepan with the hot oil. Help. What have you done? What have you done? Why is that so hot? So, so right now that you have all completely yourselves and had to wipe your ass because of that, we're now going to... <laughs> <laughs> just be careful. If just be oil. careful of oil because this is a prime example this of what's not. your fault. Just watch the garlic once it's become nice and golden and it starts to smell really good. Then it's time to add in one tin of our tomatoes. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it in there. I'm f scared. Is anyone else scared? I'm terrified. Right, and we're just going to bring that up to the heat. Up to the boil. So oh, just stop. I'm just stop. I am stopping. Everybody calm down. 
What's that smell? That smells good. I think it's you. So, yeah. now that you have got control of everything and you haven't done what we've just done, um, you're going to have a bit of residue, residue of tomato left in the can. So what I do is I fill it up halfway full of water and then we're going to rinse the can out. So water goes in. Why don't you show us then, Charles? I'm showing you right now. Okay. So I've put in, yeah, some water in. Oh, spills it. Sorry, I put some water into our can. God, it's like we're drunk. Yeah, literally. Yeah, all right, they understand. Right, now I'll put it in here. Yeah. Christ, you don't have to waffle on. And what you're going to do now, give it a stir. Woo! And uh, we're going to add in our oregano. Stir. Pitch of salt. In. Sorry. And uh, everywhere, it's totally fine. A nice crack of pepper goes in. It's like really quiet and calm now. Yeah, it's almost too quiet. Pepper goes in. Cut, freeze frame, done, new shot. We're gonna add a nice teaspoon of uh, sugar there. Yeah, put it in, Charles. Yeah, sugar goes in. Sugar's in. <laughs> Stirring it up, stir it up, bring it up to the heat, lower down the heat, and we're gonna just let it cook away for about five minutes. Taste while you're cooking. So, we're on step two now, so what we're gonna be doing while the sauce is kind of bubbling away there, we're gonna get on to breadcrumbing our chicken boobies. So, we're gonna to need to get- Why do you have to say that? That's what they are. They're chicken breasts. Same thing, right? You're st uh, chicken titties. <laughs> chicken titties! Right, so I've got three chicken breasts. Um, yes. We're going to put them here. Cool. Yeah. We're going to make sure that we're all nice. Are you all right? Do you need to sit down? I'm a bit stressed out from yeah. that sauce, to be honest. That really freaked me out. Here we go. One chicken breast. Chicken titties. Chicken tit. Right. If it comes with a little drummy, we'll just take that bit off, the little wing. And what we're going to do is whatever sinews on there, we're just going to, yeah, you can see down there. Lovely. Yeah, they can all see, Charles. Just, just take a little bit of them. Sinew off. Try not waste too much meat. If you've got good butchery skills, that's a plus. Ready? Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a incision, and what we're going to be doing is butterflying. So I'll do one, and then you can do the other. So just using our knife, we're going to cut through the breast halfway through, not all the way, and we're just going to butterfly out like that. I've left the fillet on as well, just to give it extra meatiness, and then fold over the baking parchment and then with the flat side of your chicken tenderizer just give it a light don't I mean if you haven't got one of these you could just use a frying pan you could use a frying pan but just nice little taps bash those titties nice I'm gonna yes let me do it just put the chicken well, I was gonna clap and then it'll be done won't it what do you want to do? So now that we've cut and bashed our chickens, we can now move on to step three, which is breading our chicken, which we will show you. Holy now. nice. What? I've just got the sauce all over my nice t shirt. Step three, we are going to start breading our chicken, which is basically now that we have our smashed nice chicken, we can now get on with the flouring and eggs and all that jazz. So, as you can see, what we're gonna do is, we've got our chickens, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna coat them in our plain flour. So, just like this. And if you can just um, get some salt and pepper on there, root. In the flour, be generous with your salt. And be generous with the pepper. And then just, with your hands, just use that to really coat the chicken in the lovely flour. Sure. Without tearing the chicken up because it's going to be quite, you know, flimsy. You're f***ing flimsy. It's going to get swifty in here. Come on, Morty. Just do it, Morty. Just, just do it. Sorry. Yeah. OK, cool. <laughs> OK, put it to one side, please. Wash your hands. Now that we've floured our chickens, we can now move on to egging them. So basically, it's just a panko station. If you watch the panko breadcrumb, uh, the sorry, the katsu curry, we kind of went through the same stages there. So brace yourself, super fans. It is on here right now. 
and pointing to it. Or this side, katsu curry, watch. Ooh. So, two eggs in there, and we're just gonna beat them all together like so. Then we're gonna add in a little dash of milk in there just to help it's on its merry way. We have Oatly. Oatly in stories now. Right. Tip uh, about wow. Tip. No cow. We don't have cow in this I can't bitch. believe that's not milk. <laughs> right, stop. Okay, now we've got our lovely panko breadcrumbs. If you can't get panko breadcrumbs, I feel sorry for you. They um, can get panko breadcrumbs everywhere. So we're going to slightly dust off a little bit of our um, flour, and then so it doesn't all get coated in there. Yep, place it in there. Very nice. Ooh, looking rather, rather nice. Lovely. And that goes into our breadcrumbs. And then I'll give it a little shake with my dry hands. And then you're going to repeat the process of however much chicken you have. Yes. A nice shaky shake. Cool. Good chicken. <laughs> and then we can move on to along the fourth step. Step four. Step four. Step four. Right, so now that your chicken has been breaded and put to one side, we can now start blitzing the sauce as we want to make it a little bit more blitzed. Um, it is optional, you can have it chunky if you want, but I think just for making it look nice. Make everything nice and incorporate, emulsified. Emulsified, that's the word we're looking for. to step five, which is going to be frying our chicken breasts. Shut the f Right, get yourself your cast iron pan, or a frying pan, a pan. Let there be fire! Right, let's start on a high heat. Right, so we're going to put in, now we're dealing with hot oil, so just everyone just calm down. Well, I don't know, from earlier, I don't think you can really handle it, mate. So maybe I should take over. Huh? Okay, fine, go for it. How much are we putting in? <laughs> we're just gonna like, not all the way, just put a quarter of the way in there, because we're gonna shallow fry it. Yes, yes, yes. Cody, the up! Right, put it on side. Let that be nice and hot, and then we'll start frying the chickens. We'll get ourselves a tray. I think we should get some nice sexy B-roll of us frying that chicken. Alright, B-roll. So we'll in. see you when the chicken is done. B-roll! B-roll! This was not your fault. Step six. Once that you have fried your chicken, like just keep checking it just until golden brown because we're going to finish it in the oven anyway. So if it comes out a little bit under, let it rest and then you just want nice, beautiful, like cooked chicken, nothing dry or over. And now we're ready to get our wonderful sauce. So now we've got our tomato sauce here. We're going to just spoon that over the top of our chicken pan, like so. So in the middle and then we just spread it nice and make it look so like sexy. You know, so like before you have a dinner party, you can get to this stage with when we put the cheese on, ready to bake, and then you just slam it in there and ready to go. So we've got some malts with mozzarella cheese. Also, this is actually a great recipe for like kids and stuff because like, do you know yeah. what I mean? We used to have this as children all the time. Yeah, yeah, it is a really good one for kids. So we're gonna put the like I've just got some shredded mozzarella over the top, just like so. And you're probably thinking, what about the parmesan? What it's about the parmesan? Smush your well, I like to use both. That's why it's called chicken parmesan. Give it to me. Okay, no, I want to do something. Okay, fine. Go on. Loads of parmesan. Really stack that up. Stack it up, <laughs> Yeah. And that, my friends, is ready to be put in the oven. Cook melted cheese until golden brown. Open oh sesame. Yep. Place that bitch in. And let that cook up to a nice and golden. We'll see you for the final result. For a final. So guys, there we have the result. It's taken out of the oven. We even blowtorched it because that's just what we do. 
so that concludes today's video. That is now fresh out of the oven and blowtorch to perfection. As always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Get in touch down below. We'd love to hear from you. I mean, this 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 recipe will just change it. Yeah, I know there's loads of chicken farm videos out there, but this one combined with this amazing sauce, once you know this, the simpler the better. The simpler the better. And like, you know, this is such a good dish for you beginners who want to learn how to cook something amazing and delicious. I just totally recommend having this under your belt as one of it's your perfect for any sort of arsenal ammunition. This is like, like this is for, this is Friday nights right here. Oh. Seriously, with a glass of vino and a Netflix. Mate, ah. you're onto a cozy, your quarantine and isolating will be so much easier from now on. Right, let's eat it. Right, let's test. Oh, he's gone in. With the chicken strips. Life changing. That's actually the best chicken parm I've ever had. No word of a lie. I see what you You're right, mate. Does this make you not want to be vegetarian anymore? When you see a chicken titty. How's it make you feel? I'm looking at a chicken titty right now.